your weather authority. Sailors took to the Great Lakes this weekend in competition to be the next winner of the Trans Superior Boat Race. The 350 mile course began on the eastern end of Lake Superior Saturday, and the winner crossed the finish line in Duluth this afternoon. KBJR 6's Caitlin Quinsenberry shares the winning team's reaction and what this race means to the sailing community. From Sault Ste. Marie to Duluth Harbor, coming in first on this long journey requires passion and teamwork. Qualities displayed by members of the sailboat named Stripes. We've just been doing it as a team for a long time, so we're all you know passionate sailors, and it's a family affair for us. My dad's uh, the boat owner and uh, skipper, so I've been doing it with him for 30 years, which has been great. Navigating Lake Superior is no easy task. The conditions out on the lake can range from calm to dangerous in a matter of moments. A challenge even for the most skilled of sailors. Lake Superior is its own beast. Uh, it's the coldest, um, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest in, in terms of surface area. It's a little bit more tumultuous at times. Uh, so it's just, it's kind of uh, a, a bucket list one for a lot of people. Race organizers say all sailors end the event feeling accomplished, especially the ones who finished first. It's just a huge sense of accomplishment um, to not only do the trans period, but to come out and be first to finish uh, first over the line is always such a huge uh, accomplishment, sense of pride for all of them. Win or lose, a race of this magnitude requires all hands on deck. To come out first is great and uh, great teamwork, great crew, and that's what it always takes. So, and a little bit of luck, of course. But uh, good competitors out there, so hats off to them as well. Looking into the horizon, sailors say they hope their journey across the big lake inspires others to set their sails high and enjoy all that Lake Superior has to offer. Congrats to the Stripes crew. Well, sailboats have been trickling in all evening and they'll continue to arrive throughout the night. You can track the boats in real time on our website, kbjr6.com.